a cherished wintertime tradition returns to Clark Summit this weekend. And this year, there's even more excitement around the festival because it's the 20th anniversary. Two decades ago, a business owner here in Clark Summit wanted to get people to shop local this time of year. And from there, the Festival of Ice was born. During the dead of the winter, when, when merchants aren't as busy, it's after Christmas, and they're not making any money. So he started this festival twofold to get people out and also to get the merchants some extra foot traffic through the town. This year's Festival of Ice comes just in time for a pretty big warm-up. But the organizers of the event, the Abington Business and Professional Association, think that will actually get more people out to celebrate. And the artists aren't too worried either. It's not ideal, but we've carved in the rain before. We've carved when it's 50 degrees out, I've carved 60 degrees out, so it's nothing new. Elijah Hogan is from Milford and is the head carver at Sculpted Iceworks. He gave us a little preview of what the live carvings will look like this weekend. There were some that we had to alter. Um, if there's anything that's less than about four inches in diameter, it would melt in one day and fall apart. This year's theme is Jurassic Ice, so all of the sculptures will be dinosaurs. Some of the adjustments made to the designs were the necks and feet of the dinosaurs. The festivities kick off with a parade on Friday, emceed by our very own Scott Schaefer. This weekend's festival will also feature live music, food, horse-drawn carriage rides, and a crowd favorite is the First Responders Carving Contest. That happens on Sunday from 1 to 3, featuring some of the Abington area's local fire departments. It's local community members that we all know, and it's just that much more fun to cheer them on. And this is the finished product. There will be 50 sculptures here at Clark Summit Festival of Ice this weekend. For more information on times and locations, go to WNEP.com. Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.